another skater with very high expectations. And you hear the home crowd reacting. This is Yelena Radinova of Russia. Coming off an incredible breakout season last year, culminating with a bronze at the World Championships and delivered a very emotional performance in the short program, resulting in a personal best. She started this season off by taking the bronze medal at Grand Prix China and making her first appearance at Grand Prix Russia. The leader after the short program. She may have the lead after the short program, but she knows she has to put out a good free skate. Yevgenia, her Russian teammate, really laid down a performance that's going to be hard to catch. She's been struggling with consistency on her jumps this season. But here's the triple-triple, beautiful, clean. Elaine Chartrand of Canada, whom we just saw a moment ago, scored a 173.42 and is into fifth place. The choice of Titanic is perfectly suited for you, Elena. She's such an emotional skater from head to toe, and it really, really works with this music. She began working with a new choreographer this season and paired up with Nikolai Morozov, whom she said pushed her to learn new body movements and more intricate steps in her transitions. Sequence right here, triple loop, half loop, triple sow. She's on fire today. and passion so much. To be honest, when I watch her body movement, it's flailing and it's kind of all over the place, these long limbs. But I overlook that because I enjoy the performance because I really believe her and she loves being out there.
much pressure that are on these young skaters. There she is in her beautiful outfit, and she looks like a little girl, but you have to be a true competitor. She has a lot of grit, and she's just fierce. I thought that program was fantastic. All the Russian ladies handled the pressure well today. Legendary coach Tatiana Tarasova cheering Yelena on. You know, the pressure is insane when you have a new Russian 15 or 16 year old every season and you know that you may have had your one chance the year before because there's always a new one. That's one of them. Yulia Litnitskaya is sitting there in the stands and Yelena really delivered today. Looking at the competition as a competition, keeping emotion out of it, I think the advantage technically goes to Medvedeva today, but the passion, the performance, that was Radionovas. Yes, I, I agree. I loved Yevgenia's jumps. I actually loved her program and her choreography a bit better than Yelena, but how can you not love this? From start to finish, it was absolutely clean. No baubles like Yevgenia had, and the program just built on the emotion and the crowd. It's incredible. And we spoke off the air as well about the importance of the placement at this event for these Russian ladies in anticipation of the Russian national championships as well. So a very important skate for this young lady in terms of stacking herself up against the competition, which we just saw. Here's the opening triple lutz, triple toe combination. A little deep in the knee on the triple lutz, but she really got in gritty and went for that triple toe. And here was her sequence, the triple loop, half loop, triple sal. Her jumps looked really secure today. She's been going through a bit of a growth spurt. Her consistency hasn't been there, but today, I don't know where she came from, but this is the old Yelena right there. Yuli Lipnitskaya and her friends, Adyan Pikeyev enjoying the performance, and of course, that passion and emotion pouring out of Yelena Radionova at the end. Well, and you mentioned the growth spurt and just 16 years of age. She's also developing some more mature emotions, which was so nice to see out there in the free skate. She's won a medal at her last four Grand Prix events. Has she done enough to make it a fifth? Oh, yes. yes. And it will be a gold. A season's best for Yelena Radinova and 211.32 overall at this Grand Prix Russia. What a celebration, a personal best for the teenager in front of her home crowd. Thank goodness she had a good short program. She actually lost the free skate portion to Yevgenia Medvedeva by only 0.2 points. So it was indeed a Russian sweep. And Tana, that's without reigning world champion from Russia, Yelizaveta Tuktamysheva, in the field. And so now we take a look at the overall Grand Prix standings and we see Medvedeva and Radionova both qualifying for the Grand Prix final. Those skaters in gold, the ones affected by the recent Grand Prix France cancellation. Ashley Wagner and Mao Asada will both be competing next week in Japan. And time now for the Puffs kiss and cry moment and it is Yelena Radionova once again after the free skate and that moment of celebration. She's just so darn cute. Just 16 years old, Tara, as you mentioned, so much pressure. What a relief to be able to perform this way. And that was the Puffs kiss and cry moment. The ISU Grand Prix of figure skating continues from Nagano, Japan, next Sunday at 4 Eastern on NBC. And a reminder, you can watch all the action from the ISU Grand Prix series with video on demand at icenetwork.com. Next, racing legend Jeff Gordon chases one last NASCAR championship in the final race of his career, the Ford EcoBoost 400. The NASCAR Sprint Cup Championship is on NBC. For Tara Lipinski and Johnny Weir, I'm Tanith White. You've been watching the ISU Grand Prix of Figure Skating on NBC.